On today's show, we take you inside the School of Agriculture, home of Randolph Farm, an agricultural learning center used for research and education at Virginia State University. Randolph Farm provides an exceptional learning experience for students seeking careers in agriculture, veterinary medicine, and more. The experts on Randolph Farm are also reaching out to local farmers to help improve their work and their profits. Virginia State University's Small Ruminants Program is helping students and farmers to become experts in working with a unique group of animals at Randolph Farm, the university's sprawling agricultural education center. Small ruminants are mammals that digest a plant-based diet by creating and chewing cud. This category includes goats and sheep, which animal care supervisor Jody Collins says are a great choice for small farms. The small farm is a great place for small ruminants because they have a short generation interval. That means that in, they have their babies in five months and that allows them to reproduce more rapidly than say a cow which takes more land and is slower to reproduce. The program began in 1992 with the goal of researching goats. It has since expanded to include hair sheep. And the friendly new kid on the block, alpacas. Alpacas are raised primarily for their fiber, and they get shorn once a year. The heat is, can be really rough on them, so we, t we take their fleece off, um, usually at the beginning of May. Most of the fleece is sent to labs for analysis as part of the university's research. But because of a favorite hobby, Stein has been happy to take some of the work home with her. I have taken the raw fleece, and I, it goes through a process of um, what it's called carding, and then I spin it on a spindle and then use it to knit products. While the alpaca's end product is fleece for keeping people warm, the other animals are bred primarily for their meat. But extension specialist Dr. Joseph Trischler says they all benefit from the research that shows farmers how to keep them well fed and healthy. Uh, the two biggest issues that they have in raising animals control their internal parasites, partly because over the last uh, three or four decades, all the warming medications that control the parasites have been abused and they no longer work. The other issue that small farmers have is the cost of nutrition. Uh, so we work strongly with them to try and develop cost-effective nutrition programs and strategic programs to control their internal parasites. In order to control those issues in their own flocks, specialists at the farm thoroughly examine the animals for any signs of trouble. We weigh animals routinely to check for their general well-being. We take fecal samples to determine the levels of parasites in, in the animals, and we also do a visual check of their eyelids, which is called the FAMACHA system, to determine whether they're showing any clinical signs of the parasites. In addition to teaching the current best ways to care for these animals, the faculty and staff are always researching to find improvements. 17. Because these animals are growing in popularity in niche markets, Dr. Trichler says that the university sometimes has to prepare students and farmers for the realities of raising them. Too often people feel that farming is simplistic. Farming is a business. Farming takes time and effort to work. Students have found plenty to keep them busy on the farm as they get hands-on experience to prepare them for their own careers in agriculture. Research specialist Dr. Stefan Vildes says they do it all. And these students become involved in our daily activities, um, but we also provide them um, with an exposure to research. Collins says that most of the students aren't actually planning to become farmers, but need the experience and insight for another kind of career. Most of them tend to be wanting to go to vet school, and this is a great place for them to get hands-on learning opportunities. Local farmers like John Smith are seeing smoother production and higher profits by using what they've learned from the program. Well, they gave me basic information to uh, help me improve my, the, what I was doing with my, with my animals and improve, the, improve my management mostly. Smith sells different types of livestock on his farm, including goats, to meet the demand in a growing ethnic meat market. 
and we sell uh, meat goats, plus we have a uh, breeding stock herd where we sell purebred breeding stock. Our primary focus is on the Kikos. It's a breed of uh, goats basically developed in New Zealand. And we also have a few Katahdin hair sheep that we're just starting with now. Smith says the help he has received from Virginia State University has given him the tools to improve his day-to-day -day work. I'm guessing it helped me become a little more profitable. You know, it improved what I was doing and made me a, a better uh, producer, better manager for my animals. For VSU Today, I'm Jesse Vaughn.